Greetings to all the Imaginists, I'm the Naive Gamer and welcome back to Image Industries. Joining me now on another tech vlog, I've sort of had a bit of a pattern of, of making my vlogs tech themed, but this one is more related to my previous one when I got my computer uh, M2 hard drive and my headphone amplifier, so I won't show you what it is just yet because I just got back from work so I'm quite sweaty, so I think I'll quickly have a shower and then back in just a sec. Hopefully you enjoyed my little Casey Neistat slash Zach King video editing attempt, but at this stage I'm not even sure it's actually going to turn out. It might end up being a complete flop, which is most likely. But anyway, on with the video. So here's the box. Now let's see what's inside. As I said, it is closely related to that previous tech vlog of mine. I got my head where I got my headphone amplifier, but you might recall me saying that. You might recall me saying that ideally I'll go away from my wireless headphones to, to avoid the need to charge with the batteries. So in this box is... No, that's not it. Can you see? Oh, there we go. That's the right side. Sennheiser's HD6 mix. So I'm like more studio headphones and gaming headphones, but for a time I was just using in-ear uh, earbuds or ear earphones, not headphones, so this is a good step up from that. And I've always actually wanted to test out the Sennheiser brand, so here it is. But that's not the whole package. As you can see, the box is reasonably sized. So the others in here, I was actually well, before I even show you, is something that's going to hopefully allow me to actually record more often, despite extra noises around. There's actually two things in here and because of that, yeah, despite being a minimized noise, I should be able to record more often and thus be able to upload more often. So the first thing, mic stand. So that's what allows, allows me to get my microphone closer to my mouth so I can put its sensitivity lower so I can pick up, pick up as much noise. And then the second thing, seeing as I'm going to have the microphone closer to my mouth, Boom, pop filter. So hopefully everything will go good with that. Now let's set it up. Before we actually set the, the mic stand up, I was going to open the headphones just to see how awesome they're going to be. Oh yeah, I forgot they come with their own case. Boom, check it out. Quite nice, quite nice. There's an extra little box in here. Probably it might be the cables. Oh yeah. So it comes with two types of cables. Like a normal straight one and then like a springy one. And then just some stuff about it. But let's assume I'm assuming the other ones are in here, well, I hope. Boom. Looking good, looking good. It's a little bit hot, but I might as well test them on. So which way are they? Yeah. Oh, and noise isolating. Awesome. I'm not sure, I can't remember if my previous overhead, overhead um, headphones had noise isolation in the beginning, but now that the, the cups have been sort of torn, the sponge is exposed, allowing more sound to come through that. And then here is the spring type, well, you call it spring like a slinky cable for compactness. So yeah, well, here we go. So I guess while I'm seated here, I might as well just open this up. I can grab a microphone as well. So the base is the heavy part because it needs to hold it and any angles so I wouldn't tip over. Or we could kill a person, I guess. And then I right, extendable, and it's got the adjust. It's got both sides, so you can see it's a bit with the wide lens. You don't really get to see things from far away. So it's got the normal size. I want to make it focus on not on me. And it's got this little thing which converts it to a smaller one. I'll just grab my mic. 
I can't remember if I mentioned this in a vlog or in a gameplay video. If it's a gameplay video, most likely those videos haven't even been uploaded yet and still coming. But I got microphone, but I know they're not condensers, but I guess wind protector type things, you can see. It's got like a pack of 10 from eBay, but I put three overlapping each other just to help, help with that. But now, oh, no way. Oh wait, no. What? Ah, oh, got a bit worried there for a second. It didn't seem to be, you know, it was just too big, but now tighten that up. Go for that. So I'm not, I'm not sure how much um, noise or how much less it will pick up if I put these legs up. But I can't even take them off, but this is what it will look like. So we'll go there. I was even looking for like the, the fancy ones with the arms. But I realised this would probably even be better because I can put it underneath my mouth. It's coming from the side, I have to move more of a distance because if I have like the webcam here, you know, it's going to block out most of the half of my face. So this way, I can put it just, just out of, probably out of view or just on the bottom. Have it much closer. But... That's not all. Now look at this. Okay, there we go. It's pretty much the full setup. So that's how I will have it. So I guess it's probably time to test the microphone right as well. So I'm using a bit of a different setup now. I've been putting my camera on top of my desk with a whole tripod and everything. It's a, it's a bit different to what I've done before, but change is, is often good. And it's a bit of a more probably not dynamic, which is the wrong word, but more interesting angle. So there's just a few things I want to test. For this test, I'm actually having the microphone on only like on 10%, so 0.1 recording volume. But for the first actual test, I want to turn the fan on, like a ceiling fan, which is a bit loud. The camera would definitely pick it up. I was going to see how much we picked up in the microphone. And while that is buzzing away, I sort of actually have some cool news regarding the channel. Although it's not so much the channels as such, but well, I just got right and say it. My Twitter account for this channel has been followed by Bart Baker, the parody musician. I think it's that in itself is just a crazy thing. Like, I, I don't know exactly how how it would work, or I'm sure probably has a public system, I'd have clicked on the wrong thing. <laughs> um, but that's still real enough for me. As, but trying to make it more than just a Twitter follower, I don't know if that would actually happen, but yeah, I so thought if, if that's a possibility, then this is the first step. And another thing I have with my camera, I have the microphone on auto, so it'll like if there's any loud peaks, it will minimize the volume. So having that on, I guess which is good in general, but if you're amongst loud noises and the void, the volume of the voice is always going to be like going up and down with, you know, when the peaks are, are brought, brought down. So this is sort of just testing that out as well, how much it's going to minimize the, my voice with a fan on. I think another test that will validate this mic hopefully should be typing because I have a now mechanical keyboard. Hopefully these aren't actually shortcuts for the for Audacity. Well, let me just minimize everything. So I'm just now being doing the test with Audacity, but with my webcam on as well. So I have both cameras. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to use any use them both. But just, to, well, I mean, noise isolation is good, but I need to hear myself think a bit. Um, so that way you can actually see the peaks, I guess, relating more to the keyboard test. This is my voice. You can see the peaks being about the yay long, like not that the length of the peaks is really a valid uh, thing to base it off, but compare that now to the sound of the keys. So you can see that it is minimizing the sound it picks up, even though it's pretty close to the mic, it's still further away than my, than my mouth, so pretty good I think. And now it's a matter of putting this all together in the form of a video.
so this basically concludes my video um, not sure more what else I'm gonna put in here apart from saying that my building the computer out of scrap parts is coming really soon I mean having started it, but I'm definitely planning to start it really soon so stay tuned for my scrap PC build which hopefully should be coming out with probably within a few days after this one but until then Knife Gamer signing out